Here is my repair video to fix my HP Folio EliteBook 9470M laptop. As you can see here, my package just arrived this morning from LaptopScreen.com. And when you open it up, at least this is how mine was received, you'll see in here that there's an envelope. And then inside this, you'll find the screen was sent from them. So I'm just pulling out the new screen right now. And this is what it looks like on the face of the screen. It looks really nice, really shiny and clean. And then on the back side, the bottom is towards the top here, but the display is upside down. And then there's the 40 pin connector where, where we will be connecting the new video signal cable once we uh, dismantle the laptop's screen over here. So as you can see, I'll prove it to you that the screen has cracked. As it's starting up, there you can see where the, the crack started there on the left hand side and uh, splintered off to the right hand side of the screen. And now we're going to start taking it apart. In order to take it apart, what you'll need is three simple basic screwdrivers as you can see here. The main ones I'm going to be using is this flathead sc uh, screwdriver to uh, pry open the, the side of the, the laptop lid case. And then also this bigger Phillips screwdriver to uh, loosen the four mounting screws that is inside the uh, screen once I remove the bezel. So to get access to the inside LCD panel of the laptop, what you need to do is first remove this bezel around the edge of the laptop to expose the mounting screws and then also the signal connection on the back of the LCD once that's open. The best way that I'm going to do this is I'm going to take this and turn this laptop to its side here and then there on the where the black meets the silver I'm going to stick my screwdriver in the seam right there and start prying off the laptop uh, and bezel uh, one clip by one clip and there's multiple clips going up and down the sides of the screen that will need to be loosened all the way around the top and then the side and then even the bottom down here to get this fully loosened up so working here on the right side of the screen now that I've grabbed my screwdriver all you need to do is run your screwdriver along the seam right there and twist and pop it off until it comes all the way up so you continue as you can see I'm working it here and I'll put it back in and I'll keep uh, prying this off until I make it all the way around the screen Now you just bring it forward forward towards you once you have it all done and pry it off the edges and you go very carefully to loosen it up. There's some tape that you'll find on the bottom and the sides as you're going through and once you have the tape loosened up the clips should come free and it should loosen up into just these couple pieces here. So once you've got that loosened up you're looking at the face of the laptop screen and you'll see here that there's four different screws. There's one here, here, here and here and that's where we'll use the Phillips screwdriver that I talked to you about before and we'll uh, loosen those screws up and it's really easy you just back them off and spin them to the left counterclockwise to loosen them so that'll be our next step Now once you have all four screws out and set aside, the next, this next part becomes pretty easy. So as you're looking at the laptop screen, I've got all four of these screws up here, as you can see where I'm focusing, are removed here. Here's the third one, and then the fourth one, which is right here. So once that is removed, all you need to do, there's really nothing much more holding the cracked LCD screen in place. All you need to do is lift it towards you just like so and be very very careful as not to damage any of the cables but you'll see down here in the bottom this is where your video connection cable and power connection cable is for the LCD itself so all you'll need to do is peel off that white clear tape uh, don't remove it completely but just peel the edge that is 
towards the bottom of the screen right now up. It's just like tape. And then you'll see a little gray flap down here. You, then you'll pull that off and the connector will slide towards the bottom of the screen. So I will do it here for you. Keep, be very careful as you're doing this. So you'll see that that'll come up. It might be a little hard the first time to get this off. And then once you got this off, you just back the, back the cable off. Um, be very, very caref uh, cap uh, careful uh, with that cable as there's uh, a lot of small wires inside. And you want to be very careful with uh, the pins there too as you're pulling that off. And make sure you back it off nice and straight. And you could also grab here on the back of the silver like I am now to pull that straight off. Once you have that off, all you need to do now is grab your new uh, LCD monitor that you received from LaptopScreen.com. Um, once, so once you have that lined up, all you need to do now is uh, connect the, the signal and power cable back into the, the back side of the LCD. So I will do that like so. Again, using the same principles as before, uh, make sure you get it slid on nice and straight and uh, very easy. And uh, using that tape uh, really does help pull that towards you. All right, so once you have that uh, put on, all you need to do is flatten the tape back down. It should be still plenty sticky from uh, when you originally pulled it off. So I got that off. Now my next step is to lift the LCD panel back up into the frame, the back side of the laptop, like so. And then reattach the, the four screws back into their mounting spots there, there there and then also there in the top right so i will go ahead and attach the screws and we'll check back in when i'm done so i now have all four screws put in the two top and then the two bottom screws now attaching the lcd to the screen my next step is going to be to peel the film off the protective film that comes with the screen and as you can see i chose the matte finished screen to match what originally came from the manufacturer you have both a glossy or a matte finish choice from LaptopScreen.com, but I chose the matte because I didn't want it to reflect while I'm at work using my laptop and also to uh, match the original manufacturer specs. So now in reverse order, once you have the screen uh, in place, now we're gonna attach the bezel. So all you need to do to attach the bezel back to the laptop is to notice that there's some grooves here in the bottom, and I'll show it up here, so there's some grooves. And you'll want to realign those back with the hinge there and slide that down in. And then like so with the other side. So a little bit of finagling to get that down in there. Um, once that's down in there, all that's left to be done is really uh, just to press and uh, snap the bezel back onto the laptop shell itself. And it's going to take a little bit to uh, get it pressed, but you'll want to be pretty careful while you're doing so in order to make sure you don't uh, bend the plastic, all the pins get set in correctly. So I'm gonna continue to do this and uh, we'll uh, talk when I'm done. So I've got all the sides done now. Um, it all feels plenty smooth. I don't feel any ripples like there's any one pin sticking out or where it didn't uh, get clipped in to the, to the frame of the laptop itself and the shell. So the only thing that's really left to do, and this is one thing I've noticed, is on the laptop itself, there that embezzle comes back here in the back side. And one thing I've realized to get it to attach is to uh, press down and uh, be careful when you're doing this because you don't want to damage the new LCD. But um, if you press down, you uh, can get some of those to uh, reattach and they should all be uh, fairly well reattached. So. Once that's done, now really all that's left to be done is open up the screen, turn it on, and you've got a fully functioning laptop now with a brand new LCD in it. So I want to say thanks to uh, LaptopScreen.com for the amazing screen replacement and quick uh, shipping. 
And then this should be your uh, repair video for your HP Folio Elite Book 9470M. Thank you.